video is a overview of finding files on your Linux machine. So a lot of times you might not know where you saved a file, you might be looking for files that are consuming too much disk space, you might be looking for files that are owned by a certain user. Uh, and so the commands we're going to look at could help you uh, uh, find those files. The first command we'll look at is locate. And this one is a very basic command that allows you to just find files by their name. And the way it works is uh, every night there is a cron job that runs and it scans uh, through your file system and notes where it's found new files. And basically it creates an index of those files and stores that in a database. And any time that uh, you search then using that locate command, it would just look for the look in the database to see if it can find that file. So the file has to be in the database in order for it to be found. Uh, so here's some examples. Locate bin slash zip <clears throat> is an example. Um, and let's look at another example. So if I jump over here and say, uh, I don't know, locate passwd or something like that, it will show me all the files that have the word passwd in it. Um, let's see here if we can locate foo.txt. Now I already know where it's at, but then it tells me, oh, here I found it there. So another quick example, let's say they create a file called sample.txt. And then I try to locate sample.txt, even though it's in my current working directory, it doesn't really matter. Um, it can't be found because obviously the database, like that cron job hasn't run that I've just said. Um, and I could manually run it. Typically you don't, but you could and say uh, update db. Oops, let's try this. Uh, so update, you have to run as a, su a super user and we'll go back in as my normal user and see if we can find it. So now it can find after that has been run. Typically you don't run that, that's run by the cron job. Um, so the next command we look at is find. This is a real time scan of directories for matching criteria. So this is, like I say, real time. It scans, it chugs through each directory until it finds the criteria they're looking for. And as you can imagine, this can take a long time on a large file system. The way you use it is you say, uh, you type the command find, specify the path that you want it to look in, and then any criteria that you want. So as an example here, find, look in my home directory, tilde as representative of my home directory, and then all these different options or criteria. So this one, uh, minus type F says, just look for files, minus name, and then in quotes, I have star.jpg. This, uh, I want the name to be, it can start with anything, but it has to end with .jpg, and it has to be greater than one megabyte in size. Uh, here's another example, look in my home directory, a uh, file name has to start with the word foo, can end with whatever. And as soon as we find it, I want to delete it. So this is kind of cool. We can, uh, when I come upon a file that matches the criteria, we can do something to it. So this minus exec says, do the following to it, remove it. So that's what that's for. Um, let's see here, the next one. Uh, look in my Etsy directory, finding all files only files. Look in my Etsy directory, finding only directories. Uh, look in my home directory, find files that end with JPEG that are over one megabyte again. So finally, um, a useful feature, maybe in each of the files that I find, I want to look inside of the file. Now find just, just finds by some criteria of the file, file name, size, you, uh, permission, owner, something like that, but uh, of the file characteristic itself. But what if I want to look inside the file? So XARGs could be useful to us. So for example, find in my current working directory, any file that starts with foo, ends with whatever. And then, in, then after I find any of those files, I want to look inside it and find the word hello inside of the file. So XARGs, basically it says, you're going to be fed multiple, potentially multiple lines here from the find command. And I want to take each of those lines in turn and grep the word hello. So that could be useful. Let's just do a quick example. <clears throat> so once again, find Etsy, for example, it finds all the, all files and directories in Etsy. Uh, minus type F says just find files. Um, and so, so that's 
how you would use it. And then maybe I can say xargs, and this might give me some permissions error, uh, Joe. Ah, it looks like it's okay. So um, I, look where it found the word Joe. It found it in Etsy group, which is what we'd expect. It's gonna find it in Etsy password, which is also what we would expect. I have a bunch of permission denied errors, which we'll ignore for now. That's how you use the find command.